Welcome to Evaluate Functions. The best way to use this video is to take notes while I'm teaching. Pause the video as often as you need to to get your notes down. Every time you arrive at a you try, pause the video, attempt the problem, and press play when you're ready to see the solution and the work. These are the topics we'll be covering in this section. Evaluating functions at a number. So we're going to talk about functions. If you haven't watched the video on introduction to functions, or maybe it's been a while, maybe go back and take a look. But let's take a look at this toaster. What's happening in this image? Well, the bread goes into the machine, and the bread comes out as toast. It works with all different kinds of inputs. You can input a bagel, and it comes out toasted bagel. So when we talk about functions, we're talking about machines, machines that work. Every input, there's only one output. Or if you recall, if you saw my video, no frogs die in the making of this function machine. So uh, function machines, will take away the toaster and we'll just look at a machine here. So if I was to input the number two and I got out the number five, I'm sorry, I get out the number 10. If I was to input the number three and get out the number 15, you might be noticing a pattern here input the number 10, I get out the number 30, what's happening inside this machine? Well, the numbers are getting multiplied by five because these are our x's coming in and these are our function values coming out. We'll name this function f. All right, let's try another. So if I was to put in an input of a three and I was to get out a five, Input of a 4, I would get out a 6. You might have some ideas here. Input of a 10, get out a 12. What's happening inside my machine to my x values? Well, they're being added by 2. And so I input an x, it gets added by 2, it, it comes out a function value. We'll name this guy f2. All right, let's take a look at this one. We'll do two more of these. If I input a 5 and I get out an 8, if I input a 7, and I get out a 10, and I input a 3, I get out a 6, and then I input 5 again, and I get out a 9. This function is broken, or really it's not a function. Why? Because if I put a 5 in, I better get out 8, 5, I better get out 8. I got a different input. It's like putting in bread and getting out a Pop-Tart. I mean, that sounds cool, but that's not a working toaster or a working function. Okay, we'll just do one more. If we input a one, we get a negative one. We input a zero, we get a negative two. We input a 10, we get an eight. We input one again, watch carefully, we get out a negative one. Because every time I put in that one, I get the same output, this function does work. It's being subtracted by two. So now let's move away from the machine. That machine can be the rewritten in function notation. F is still just the name of that machine or that function. X is those inputs or the number we plugged in. And the way we read this is F of X. We've covered this before, uh, the notation and introduction to functions. And this here is the function itself. Now remember that f of x is the same as y as long as the function, as long as that relation is a function. Okay. So given f of x equals 3x plus 4, find f of 2. I'm going to solve this with the machine and without the machine. So I've got my function f, the function is 3x plus 4, and the number that I'm inputting is 2. So what's happening inside is it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 4, I'm going to get out 10. So f of 2 is equal to 10. Now let's try it without the machine. Well, if we have f of x is equal to 3x plus 4, and I'm trying to find f of 2, that means input the 2 where the x's were. So that's going to be 3 times 2 plus 4, f of 2 is going to be equal to 10. You want to make sure you include both the input and the output in your answer by using proper notation. Rewrite the table using function notation. So the input is 2, so f of 2 is equal to 1. f of 5 is equal to 3, and f of 8 is equal to 6. 
a couple more examples together and then you'll try alone. Evaluate f of x is equal to x squared plus 3x plus 4 at the value x equals 2. So what they're asking is what is f of 2? So anywhere there was an x, we're going to replace it with the value 2. Now I like to keep the left side here alone. I'm not going to change that. A lot of times what can happen is you accidentally multiply 2f. It's not what that means. And then you can type it in your calculator or you can show all your work. Once you have your answer, you can bring that down. f of 2 is equal to 14. Given the function h of p is equal to p plus 4, evaluate h of 0. So we've got h of 0. Anywhere there was a p, we're replacing it with 0. Well, that's just 4. You can bring that down. h of 0 is equal to 4. We're going to do two examples that go in the opposite direction. Given the function j of x is equal to 2x minus 1, evaluate j of x is equal to 5. Really careful here. It doesn't say x equals 5. See how I'm crossing off that j? That says x equals 5. You would just plug that in there. However, that is not what that says. It says the whole function j of x equals 5. The y is 5, not the x. So how I like to handle these is rewriting the function itself, and then j of x is 5, and they want you to find x. So 6 is equal to 2x, divide both sides by 2, 3 is equal to x, and remember we want to write it in proper notation. So let's go back. This is our x, and this is always our output or our y. Our x is 3 and our output is 5. So j of 3 equals 5. We'll try another one. This is our new function and it says g of m equals 0. Again, it doesn't say m equals 0. If that was the case, you just plug it in. But that is not what it's saying, so you want to be very careful here. It's saying g of m equals 0. So we've got g of m equals m minus 4. Well, g of m is 0 m minus 4, add 4 to both sides, 4 is equal to m. Now we want to use proper notation again. So remember that this is our x and this is our output or our y. And so our x or our m in this case is 4 and our output is 0. You try these problems on your own. Press play when you're ready to see the solution and my work. And that concludes evaluating functions.